Good morning again. I'm going to keep talking about contacts as I keep remembering more things that would be helpful for you to know. Um, when you go into your contacts and you add something or add a person to that list, this is one thing that we really need to be taking advantage of. When you meet someone and they tell you they're interested in a house in a particular area or a neighborhood or something like that, and sometimes that's something they say, sometimes that's something you have to kind of, you know, dig a little bit to find out. Sometimes it's more than one, um, especially if you're in a more populated area and you have a lot of neighborhoods to choose from. In some of our more rural areas, you don't see that as much, so it can be a little bit harder, but you can search by zip code. So there's a couple different ways to do it, but what I'm gonna show you today is how to utilize your Keller Williams um, website. We really need to be utilizing this, especially since it is branded to us. It points them back to our website. Our websites are so much more powerful than we really, um, or at least than I understand. So I really suggest you take advantage of that. Um, also, like if you have someone that, you know, next year they're going to be moving to Florida. Well, you don't have access to that MLS, right? But guess what? Our websites do. We have the IDX feeds, which means we feed in from all the different MLSs. Just like Zillow, if we can get people using our website and using our app, we're going to be in a much better position because everything is going to be branded to us. If they see something they want, they're going to, tag it or heart it or add it to a list and we're going to be notified. So definitely utilize this aspect of command. If you go into a contact and you go over here on the right, you have the timeline, the opportunities, smart plans, go over here to save searches. I'm going to create a saved search. Okay, this particular girl, she was looking in um, a zip code in Milledgeville where we were, this house was. Milledgeville is all one zip code. So it actually works a little bit easier in some ways. Um, I'm going to search by zip code and put that in there, select it. Um, she's looking under 250. So I'm going to put in here 100 to 250. Um, she needs it to have three bedrooms. She needs it to have two baths. Um, I kind of leave it pretty vague at that point. I hit next and I can put um, as far as a saved search title, I usually will either say custom search for someone or I was talking or listening to a class the other day and it really suggested we do something like re, you know, you get an email and it says re home search in Milledgeville or home search in Conyers. You're be like, wait a minute, did I? Did I set that up? And so it makes people's um, attention go to your email a little bit faster. So sometimes they say that helps. So I've been trying it. We'll see. Um, I can put home search in the town or in the um, the particular neighborhood. And of course, the characters are limited, so you have to do that. I can elect to send the email notifications. Do I want an instant, daily, weekly, or bi-weekly? That's something that's up to you. It depends on um, how well you know this lead. Okay, when I go back to step one though, one of the things I do like to do, this is something that is also strategic in this really heavy market is a lot of times you'll suggest a buyer only look at reduced properties. That means there's not as much competition. They think they know that the seller is a little more eager. The price is more realistic. That is what I have found lately. I have been sending to people is a list of reduced properties and that has caught their attention. So I'll check the price reduced in the last seven days. When you send next, it's going to automatically start sending them houses that have been reduced in the last seven days. And so I usually set that up for one week at a time. Um, if they are really eager, set it up for a daily, um, perhaps instant even. But that is one way we can stay in touch with our um, database. Now, I've canceled that one because I'm going to also show you how to do it by neighborhood. By neighborhood, I'm going to find it on a map. And I'm just going to go very quickly because I'm almost out of time. If she were looking in a particular neighborhood, I could go in and just select any neighborhood I wanted. I don't even know where this is, but it's in Deerfield, Georgia. Okay. I can put in three bedrooms, two bath, reduced, hit next, send her an email. That way when she gets an email, it's going to be specific to that neighborhood. Depends on what they're looking for. But all of this keeps you from sending out MLS searches and sends them directly to your website. So that way, if someone's looking in a different state, they can find a property and you can get a referral when you find them an agent in that state.